Hello, and welcome back to the Phoenix Reborn series. I'm your host, the Green Dragon, and we are, of course, playing Europa Universalis 4 as Byzantium, which now stretches from the northern Baltic Sea to the Indian Ocean and India itself. So, last time we played, we had a massive war against the Ottomans and their annoying allies, the Mughal Sultanate. And we could not force the Ottomans to release Iraq as we planned because the Mughals took over the leadership of the war. So, so instead, we, by the end of the war, we declared two wars, one against the Quora, Kuyunlu here, which we took, and one against Persia, which we vassalized, and then we proceeded to feed every single Persian core the Mughals had back to Persia. So now, Persia loves us, and the Mughals hate our guts. And here we are. We have a bit of aggressive expansion with Persia, but for the most part, they love me. Also, some of our fleets died, We and we destroyed the rest, because A, I'm rich, and B, those ships were old. I was running a lot of my navy was early Carex, whereas now I can actually build galleons. So we are switching to galleons because galleons have 20 more cannons and are significantly more powerful than the Carex. I think they also have more hull size. So that's that. We have built that. Also, you are... What are you working? Constantinople? You are transports. How's this looking? Where are they stealing my money? And it is my money, by all means. Tuscany and Milan and Hijaz. Hijaz! Okay, uh, important thing. Trade value map mode. Which have the most? 12. Yeah, all of these green places will build constables, and after the constables, we're gonna build workshops to further increase the value, because this increases the amount of goods produced. So, that is the plan. We're going to use this to... Actually, workshop, workshop, workshop. Oh, that place already has a workshop. So, uh, the, the, the constables in all the right places. Yes, up the coast there. That's good. Trade value. I know I'm spending quite a bit of stuff on that. Persia and Basra. There are some very good places there, obviously. No? Okay, so what about workshops? I can build a few there. Sure. This will significantly increase my cash money situation. Okay, so we're out of cash. That's fine. We're gonna have 20 heavy ships in this part of the world and another 40 here, just in case Austria or someone like that decides to dig with me. And... I think a conflict with uh, Austria may be inevitable. So, yes. Great Britain, Bavaria, and France. It's tempting. Poland, Brandenburg, Cologne, and Mainz and Saxony. So, I can't get in at them any freaking way. They are protected by various protectors of different groups, whereas they also have no alliances, so I can't even attack them through an ally. Now, I intend to go to war with the Mughals next, but this time we will declare war on them directly so that we can actually get rid of the Ottomans as a separate peace deal, thus bypassing this bullshit where we, you know, have problems like that. We will want to annex Persia as soon as possible, but before we do that, we will of course also want to rebuild the strength of our armies, since those armies are damaged. Significantly. Tax or stability, take the tax, always take the tax on these, I guess. Okay, conversions. Mogadishu and Lamu are the only two which I have not yet converted. Okay. And you are busy fighting... Malindi, which is a protectorate, which is gonna get its ass kicked, isn't it? Oh well, they're sub-Saharan, they should really try to westernize at some point. Just saying. 
same religion and protectorate. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to, you know, take them over. Okay, VJ is strong, and I can't really do much against them right now. What about you, though? I mean, that's the thing, I can't take them over, right? Well, most of the cash is flowing out of that node into Ceylon, which is really good. VJ and Gujarat and Kathiawar and Golconda are all collecting from it, though, which I don't like. That is not so good. And I'm actually gonna build the show me the trade value. I'm also gonna build constables and workshops in all the... I'm gonna lock this there so I can see. Yeah, all around here. In all the yellow ones as well. Because those are valuable enough to bother with them, you know? No, not in Damascus, apparently. Can't build one there. What about a workshop in Crete? In there? In there? Okay. This will just have to be good enough. And we could build an arsenal for extra... No, that's a local manpower, and that's a s just special building. What about the unique ones? Stability and March. Don't really need either of those, do I? Have really good defenses. Actually, something I could do is build forts along the Austrian border. Poland, not so much. I'm not really scared of Poland per se, but... Possibly again around the Russian border would be good. And you are still... Hello! Cologne, Russia, and the Hansa, and Bavaria. Poland, Brandenburg, Cologne, Mainz, Pomerania, and Saxony. Yes, we would have to declare war on Cologne, essentially. Austria is defender of the Catholics. Shit. And I doubt Austria will want to lose the defender of the faith bonus just for the sake of keeping our alliance. Or at least I'm not willing to risk it. Which is, uh, of course, a thing all of its own. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna keep these armies here. Because they will maintain the security of the Mughal border rather well. I'm pretty sure that 80,000 of my troops with a decent leader can take the Mughals. Pure and simple. Should be fine. Only 33. Why? Where are the rest of the ships? We have a couple here, another one here. It's 36. Well, once these arrive, we should be able to see where the rest are. Right? The ones we've... For example, we have one here. Moveth. Oh, we're actually building a couple more there. And there. It's 19 navies. Why the... We are building one in Imorati, right? Okay. So that should be 39 ships in total, right? 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 As in here. It's only 36, which means that I'm missing... Ah, 37. So I'm missing the two from the Venice way. Fine. Yes, they've converted the cultures to get rid of those cores. So it's either fight France with Bavaria. I uh, saw it's fight France with Austria on my side, or fight... Great Britain and... F yeah, it's either fight Austria on my own or fight France and Great Britain with... Well... Oh, and they're allied with France. Shit, son. Shit. So, either way I would be fighting the both of them if I went after Tuscany. Here's a thought. No, France took the tower, so that's... not worth anything, is it? Could declare on Portugal for the colony. Austria, the defender of the bloody Catholic faith. God damn it, those bastards are everywhere, it seems. Okay, so. See, why I want to build workshops is that I get the bonus twice because not only do I, you know, actually 
get the thing, I also... Oh, that's a gold province. Not only do I get the thing, I also get money for trading the thing. So, it's <laughs> extremely good, you know? Because, you know, I benefit from it twice, obviously. Persia apparently has a lot of stuff like spices, which is extremely expensive. Good catch. Building manufactories there will be good, and by manufactories I mean, of course, trading houses and stuff. As you can see, we are still low on manpower. It will take another year and change to replenish. Also, another thing I should do. I have all these docks built in a lot of places. Let's upgrade them fully so that we can start getting extra naval force limit and the like. And that's not done yet, but that should be fine. Here we have 19 ships. Yeah, everything seems fine. Yes, dry docks. Dry docks all around. Yes, yes. Oh, Venice already has dry docks. Dock, dry dock, and I can't go further than that, apparently. Let's take a look at the building browser, which is here. So you've built virtually any everything here, right? Grand shipyard, shipyard, naval arsenal, and naval base. I think we'll want to turn this entire coastline into a fleet thing. Just to get our naval force limit up a bit more so that we can build more trade ships and... You know, just make good things happen. Also, hit yes. Let's start the annexation of you. Right? So I'm using two of my diplomats, which is very little actually. I'm gonna keep one on Austria constantly, I think, actually, since I that still leaves me with two I can knock around or send around. Maintain. Okay, Russia. Russia hates me for some reason. They want to subjugate Crimea. Well actually Actually I could go after them and subjugate them myself. What kind of negative crap do we have? Hostile relations, allied to rival, neighboring different religion, that won't go away, but that and border friction, all of that should go away. If I, you know, declared on them. So what, this is their capital and this is their thing, so if I take those two, that should eventually, ex eventually be everything, right? Well, no. We would have that there to worry about. And Russia wouldn't give me access and the Mughals wouldn't give me access so I wouldn't be able to get to that. Maybe we don't want to fight Crimea yet. But yeah, let's make sure that we have all kinds of dry dogs built all around the place. In fact, screw Eden, we're gonna turn... Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, Italy into a naval thing as well, since we don't really need the stuff in these trade nodes, right? Hell, I could even turn Greece into a naval thing, just all of this into that. Yes, unfortunately, Austria did manage to annex the thing. You're allied with Castile, because you're Catholic, right? Right, we got you converted at one point, and you're Western. Mean Castile, what's your bros? Denmark and Algiers. Sure, rather spend money, I suppose. Although, what was it, the one point prestige hit? It's hardly a big thing. I can't declare, because the Austrians are the defenders of the Catholic faith, of course. You're still a Sultanate. So, we will do something about you, and you are Sub-Saharan, you are Western. Huh. What's your... just Mali, right? There's absolutely no way in which the Safi node is 
useful to me, so I'm not gonna bother. I should expand the eastwards whenever I can. That's the best thing I can do. Me, <laughs> city of the world's desire. Oh, Ottomans, why are you so silly? Meanwhile, let's. They're allied with the Ottomans and Chagatai and the things. All the things. Gonna actually fabricate on this place right here. And we're gonna go to war when we can. And we got this card, but I don't care. As long as it's not a coalition war, as long as it's a straight up attack war and the Ottomans come in as allies, it's fine. And if they don't come in as allies, you know, that's kind of fine too. That's kind of fine too. Now the Ottomans are starting to recover, but their truces should be going away. Also, we wanted to create Quora, I think, as a vassal, so... There. There we go. Let us start improving relations straight away. Nomad group. But they can be vassalized. Interesting. Sub-Saharan can't, but this can. Okay. What if I gave you the leader instead? Would that be enough to prevent the attrition? No. No. Keep him there, then. Now, for those workshops. Yes, more peppers. More spices, more everything, cause... Jesus Christ, that crap is good. I mean, there's cash to be had, and lots of it. Royal marriage with Austria is ended. What's the state of their throne now? What's the state of their throne now? They're in Regency Council. He might die. If their heir dies, we might get ourselves a union. It might be good. No oh, diplomats sent. Well, that's a misunderstanding. Let's recall the Austrian guy and give him new orders. Oh, no, never mind. They, they offered... Thing. See, that's the thing. If they ever have an heir with a weak claim, if they ever have an heir with a weak claim, this will be extremely good because of the simple reason that we can claim their throne and try to war them for it, which I might even be able to win. Understand? Now they have, I'm seeing... 180,000 troops. No, more like 200,000. They're not weak. I might actually go after Tuscany then, if they're that strong. It might be possible. If Austria joins in... I mean, if Austria joins in, it might be possible to really make good things happen there. Might be. When can I annex you? 1700. Okay. Fuck me! What's my army tradition at? No, we are not restricting the non-nobility on this one. I'd rather take the stability hit than lose my... Yes, sure. Then lose my thingy. This would mean a fight with France. They are allied with Great Britain. Great Britain doesn't really care that much for me. Well, it's tempting to go for it, admittedly. Okay, important question. The Mughals, how well have they recovered from the beating I gave them? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can screw the Ottomans easy enough. Take 22,000, yeah, they're pushovers compared to my power. They have 43,000 actual troops, but 83,000 manpower, so they are not that badly off, unfortunately. Yeah, because we even got some of our armies completely smushed, and they certainly didn't. Huh? Yes, basic docks, please. Build at them. Build at them with great justice. 
Yes, build up at least up to basic docks there, and meanwhile I'll build my actual shipyards here. Because we're gonna expand our naval force limit. We're gonna have a lot of good stuff here. Seriously, like a lot of it. Basic docks everywhere, and we'll actually... Okay, important question. You are in the Constantinople zone, so only down this coast, only up to Thessaly. Could take another idea group, that could be fun. I suppose at that this point it would be sensible to take yay, uh, whatchamu calls it, uh, offensive ideas, so that we can be offensive to our neighbors. Yeah, this is a bit of a slow episode, I suppose, because we are recovering, but, you know, it's a thing. Also, who the fuck is stealing my money? Tuscany! See, you want to destroy the Ottomans. The truce will be over soon, I'm actually gonna move over my armies and... I think I'm gonna declare war, even though I'm barely beginning to recover my manpower, I... really do need to crush them. Where? Here? Just grain? Fuck. Grain is virtually worthless. Okay, let's hire a leader before our tradition for the army decays any further. There we go. Good. 3 5 2 3. A good siege score. Excellent. Now, either the Mughals will call the Ottomans in and the Ottomans will join, or alternatively, alternatively, the Ottomans will not join in, in which case we declare war on them separately and screw them either way. Because seriously, this is some uncool bullshit. And yeah, we most definitely do need more ships. Dock, dock, dock. Yeah, so all of this will be a naval area. This will be our main fleet yard thingy. Because most of those ships are gonna be here anyway, right? Could build a repair station like... Here. Yes, a single proper shipyard in the Indian Ocean. Just for maintenance. That sounds good. A lot of crap getting built, our income will go up even further, which is a good thing, obviously. Really don't want to ever fight Austria if I can avoid it. Preferably. Tuscany, though, or France? Actually, important question. France. Heavy ships. 42. Okay, Great Britain, 46. Austria, 11. So, yeah, hide your navies is the term of the day, I believe. We are gonna have to be really careful fighting them in the oceans. Because we can easily get screwed there. And yes, I will declare war on Tuscany at some point. I will. Okay, so that's dry docks. Which is a different thing. Let's have those. So each of these gives me 1.5 force limit because I have a 50% boost from the ideas here. Uh, where is it? Yes, Grand Navy here. Okay. And let us see. Obviously, we're not declaring war on them. And they're actually soaking Nogai, which was actually a good thing since the Nogai have a separate manpower, so there's probably many there which they will lose because that manpower just vanishes. Okay, so August, year after next. No, that's not soon enough, I think, since we're declaring war next April. I'm actually gonna bring up my maintenance right now. Make sure that everyone is nice and strong. 
actually not making that much money right now because our armies have recovered and we are maintaining more troops. Okay, you get the leader, go there. I'm gonna s stick 40 here, 40 here, and then we can sort of hope to actually. Let's try and gather all 80 there, and s maybe we can smash the Ottoman's army before it becomes a real problem. Meanwhile, when's that bloody truce over already? Okay, shipyards, shipyards, shipyards. More shipyards, more dry docks. Sure, Corsica, build a dry dock. Okay, what's the supply limit on this? 68. Well, we can put three armies on it at least. I'm hoping to fight this war a bit more calmly than the last one and hopefully not lose as much men as stupidly because I frankly can't afford to my reserves are at a quarter strength. It's not exactly good. And surely that will not help. Okay, we'll move the, that other group back on right before we declare war and that should help maintain you know crap at a manageable level the Ottomans are happily building troops I know I am actually at 23 level wise so I might actually get a tactics advantage on them I think we get one at 33 if I manage to declare quickly enough I will be able to smash the Ottomans pretty well cause you know, I have gained a proper, you know, a real advantage, however temporarily. We've made some, s that's the thing, we've made a significant advance in military before them. We beat them to it, so we have a short window of opportunity where we might be able to make use of that, unless they get it like right now. Though, I have a feeling that it might not matter. I'm gonna park it on top of that, it's close enough that it really shouldn't matter. And then we'll see. Come on. Next month, right? It's gonna recover up to full strength. Okay. Stability loss. Another one. No, no, no. So we have a couple of problem areas. Mostly because they're still being cored. You're in the coalition, which is another reason why we don't want to declare on Byzantium. Yes, sorry, not on Byzai Byzantium, obviously, on... It's just this place that's being caught against the Ottomans, but what we want is to force them to give up Iraq if we can, right? So... That's the plan, 16th of April. So another month. Right. March comes before April, obviously. Okay, so we've built up for the war, we are ready, the truce is over. There we go, they did join in, wonderful darlings that they are, and beat them there. There we go. Because screw you Ottomans. Come on, 12 days. There we go, 10 war score, just like that, and come and fix that, they're trying to ambush my boats. In several places, in fact. No, not good. Unapproved. Bad. You're on level 18, so you're gonna get your ass kicked in any real conflict. You can attach to this unit. Gather up. Okay, the heavy ships are wrecking them, good. And did you capture anything important? Not really. Okay, the heavy ships go with there, blockade at that, make sure that nothing happeneth. And here we have what? Ten of their light ships with an amazing leader. Fighting against my transports? The fuck, where are my heavies? Shit, whoops! Well, that's a mistake. Let's build some transports to replace the ones we just suicided accidentally and let's keep building our boateries where we can Athens sure looks good 
Okay, so massive investment. The Ottoman army is smushed. So, at this point, we spread out in groups of 10,000 to all surrounding lands and start making them regret they ever met us. Right? Obviously. In fact, I should spread out even more. But they do have enough forces possibly to, you know, create problems and annoyances. Annoyances and problems. I mean, okay, just do it this way. Prevent them from disrupting the core there. I mean, they're just 3,000. And back that way. Boom. Boom. Okay. You're heading to Armenia. Well, that's fine. We're gonna split these even more. Because I want to get a full occupation as soon as I can. There, that should be good enough. Okay, they beat back the enemy there. I'm actually gonna move to the north so that I can... Yeah, apparently not. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Do want to take the war goal, and I do want to occupy the Ottomans fully, just to prevent any misunderstandings. Heading to Adana, I'll well, head there and then back to Konya. Okay, never mind. And go there. And the Liguria claim wore off. Shit! Prestige loss or revolt, I'll take the prestige, especially since we're at war and we don't need this bullshit. And this little army can be a sort of a... You know... Force for... You know, helping good things happen. Or something. So, troop-wise, they still have 140,000. Wow. Let's go and ambush that one. In fact, I could force them to release Uzbek. I mean, Uzbek is what, a union? They're a union under Chagatai. Oh. So I can't do make the Mughals do it, I have to make those guys do it. Okay, just keep walking, you're nearly there. Oh, and just as you've arrived there too, poor darling. Smash? Smash, okay, good. It's good. Okay, we didn't really need to move in there apparently, and holy crap. Unattach, unattach, leaveth. Much bad, much, much bad. I'd rather sit right there, that will be safer. In fact, split it in half. It should be fine. Core finished, good. Time to convert it. So I would say this war is going rather well, despite a minor hiccup with the ships. All is well in the world. Poor Ottomans. They're gonna have to give a concession now. It'll be amazing. Right now, the plan is to eat the Ottomans. Just eat them. Actually, I have a cunning plan. A very cunning plan, possibly. We'll see how that works out. I might be able to do the same thing I did here. Release Iraq as a single county. That's the Mamluks. That's Nide, Nide. Yes, and then just feed the rest back to them. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do this in a single war, but I do want to take more Ottoman provinces, right? There are some things which I need to take in order to remove them, which are, you know, which only have Ottoman cores on them, so obviously I can't, you know, screw it over in a... The fuck? You're not going anywhere. Finish that siege. Anyway, yeah, we will have certainly... We'll certainly get a separate peace with the Ottomans. And we'll be able to get things from that peace. Good things. Glorious things.
gather some stuff here. Enough to get at least another point of bonus point from the amount of cannon we have on it. There we go, two points for cannon presence, good, good, good. Go to there. And there, yes, gather that army together. And look at that, we have friends, prizes. And yes, I think I will attack into them with 18,000 men. Siege is one. I'm looking for longer sieges to join into, cause they obviously need more help. Right? Okay, but the war is going very well, I would say. Very, very well indeed. Okay. Actually, we can just start marching down the coastline. Even if it is with just single. And actually, I might... Actually, I will release Baluchistan. I think they had all the cores here that I need. No, most of them. I would also have to release Sind. Right? Yeah, release those two so that those bastards don't get the... Actually, there's ways we can dick with that. You know what I hate? When someone else ends up leading the fight, possibly because I don't have a leader in here, there. And... I, my troop, I end up losing a fuck ton of troops because the leader has lower tactics than I and, you know, getting screwed because of that, because my stupid allies ended up in charge and they messed it up for me, that does seem sucky, you know? It kind of feels bad. Just sucks to lose troops because of that kind of shit. It just does. Okay, there we go. Now that's the way it's supposed to go. Now go and smash that. Gujarat can go and fuck itself. We do not wish a royal marriage with you, duckling. Go with there, good. So, that's 53% already. And we're even ga gaining manpower, which is amazing. Gather on that one. Good, good, good. So the Ottomans are nearly done. That's wonderful. Yeah, I think I want to take some provinces now and take a single Iraqi province so I, that I can return the rest as cores. That will be glorious. Iraq, Arab. I think that might be the one we want. Possibly. Well, okay, this is the Akuyunlu. I could take that and create that as a vassal as well, I suppose. Sure, I'm willing to spend a bit of money. Meanwhile, how are our dry dogs doing? Oh, we need one in a care. And meanwhile, we can start building even more shipyards here. How's my force limit? 226, so that's not bad. Okay, so I'll split it here and next time we'll finish the war and see what we can squeeze out of them this time. So, uh, suppose I'll see you then.